Is that Auntie Jane? Who's calling, please? It's uh, a customer. I mean, well, I could be. What I'm saying is I'm interested. I haven't got the right number, haven't I? I can fit you in about three o'clock. Now, what should we say your name is, sweetheart? Uh, it's Dawson. Mr Dawson. Right up, Mr Dawson. It's 30 quid up front, non-negotiable for full sex with a condom. I don't do anything painful and you've got half hour max. Hotels will have to negotiate. Have you been a naughty boy? You what, love? Have you been naughty? Lots of fellas want spanking these days. Oh, uh, it's not really my cup of tea, that, love. No offence, like, no, just seems a bit daft, Suit that's yourself, all. love, that's my motto. Three o'clock, then. Okey doke. Hang on. Aren't you forgetting something? What's that? The address, for starters. Oh, shit, yeah, you better give it us. Yeah. Yeah, that's off Saunders Road, isn't it? Yeah, I know it. Okey doke. I'll see you in a bit. Don't bother, mister. I know what you're up to. Come on, doll, let us in, will you? How are you doing, are you? Keep your flaming voice down, Raymond Travis. Do you want the old frigging close to know? Be a sport, doll, let us in. Come on, for old time's sake. I won't make no trouble, I promise. Are you sick of summit? I used to change your nappies, remember? Besides which, I'm surprised at you. I bet your mother doesn't know what you're up to, does she? I think she'd be just a bit more surprised about you, Auntie Jane. Don't get fly with me, Raymond. You're not too old for a thick ear. Look, please just go away, will you? You'll have me evicted if anyone finds out. All right, all right. Keep your ear on. We can't have that now, can we? Thank you, Raymond. I'm sorry, love, but you know how folk are. Would have been nice, though, wouldn't it? See you, then. Come in and going all the time. Come in, he's coming. Uh, just, he's coming. Just have a little sweet. Afternoon. Another thing, after you've used your walk... Piss off and mind your own business, you stupid old farts.
Why do you do it, Doreen Watkins? You're a bag of nurse, woman. Fancy though. Raymond Travis. You like it. My mother once told me that has got to be a wig, though. Want to cut it, do it underwater. Hey, I'm sorry, Doreen. Didn't mean to frighten you, love. Let myself in the bat way, if you know what I mean. Hey, dig the outfit. Come on, give us a twirl. Never mind that, you cheeky bugger. Get your ass out of that chair and sling your hook. Come on, Doreen. Is there any way to talk to your best friend's son? Hey, I mean, a pop round after all these years, and what do we get? A load of aggro. I mean, I can understand you being a bit jangled and that, being caught out in, you know, reduced circumstances. Reduced circumstances? So. You cheeky bugger. I do very well, thank you and very much. I don't much. doubt it for a second. Good-looking woman like yourself deserves it. All I'm saying is, don't go getting your knickers in a twist. I mean, I'm not going to tell anyone, am I? Here, I'll tell you what. Why don't you make us a nice cup of tea? I'll have a good chinwag about the old days, eh? You've got some bloody nerve, you have. I'll give you that. Then I'll go out the back, quite as you like. Promise. I'll go on then. But you'll have to be quick. I've got an appointment at half past. Um, make it strong, will you? Can't stand where you bruise me. Here, put that out. My Bernard will have a fit if he smells smoke in house. Bernard? Are you not still with that old wing nut, are you? Of course I am. Who else would have the hand out? What he knows about this caper? Of course he does. I wouldn't do anything behind my husband's back. Well, it's not right, is it? He doesn't mind. My Bernard likes his little luxuries as much as anyone. Besides which, he's not been same since that accident with Millie Machine. Fucking <sighs> hell. Old wing nut, eh? Dirty old sod. What happened? Did he get his tackle ripped off? No, actually. For your information, he ruptured himself trying to shift it. He's a martyr to that hernia he is. That's back in engineering, you know. He's got a tight stall now at market. Doesn't earn so much, though, poor love. So, how's your mother these days, Raymond? Yeah, she's all right, I suppose. And? Go on. I'll well, tell you the truth, I've not seen him in yonks. Must be six, seven years. Kind of a son do you call yourself? Poor Anne, she must be bloody heartbroken. I doubt her. It was her to kick me out in the first place. Anne? I don't believe it. She were devoted to you two lads. I still remember them jumpers she knitted you for school. I got in a spot of bother, though. Bother? What kind of bother? Armed robbery kind. They locked me up, you know. Six years. Someone got shot, didn't they? Well, I can't say I blame her if you killed someone. I mean, it's murder, isn't it? You can't have a murderer running round house. No one got killed, Doreen. One of the lads got a bit nervous. And this woman, cashier she were. Unless she's in a wheelchair now. So. It's bad news. That'll be them now. Christ, what a pair these two are. I don't think they've got past the roadies in 18 months of coming here. It's him, you see. He only has to see a stocking top and he's shooting off like champagne. Just like it, eh, though? Keep coming back. Come on, you. Shift it. You'll have to wait in there. All right, get your wig on. Here, you can watch some telly. Help yourself to biscuits. Just keep the noise down, right? I won't be long. Wish me luck. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you again. Bit nippy. Come on, tell me what 
tell me what's happening. Oh my God, Pat. Oh, for Christ's sake, tell me what's going on. She's taken off her uniform. Yeah. And? What else has she done? She's jammed me on the bed. Oh my God. Oh my sweet Lord. You're not going to. Yes, dear. Going to make love. Make love uncontrollably, passionately. We're going to explore each other's bodies until we've exhausted each other. And then we're going to do it again and again and again. Getting dirtier and more wanting every time. Oh my god. Oh. I think I'm gonna do this out. Oh. Here, what's going on? Oh. You cruel tarts. Go on. Humiliate me. Go on. Make me feel like a worm if you want to, but I'm warning you. When I get out this fucking thing, you're gonna regret it. Stuart, Stuart, stop it. You people will be feeling in. Who the bloody hell are you? Everybody all right? Raymond, I thought I told you to stay downstairs. Don't mind me. You carry on as normal, and I'll just sit and watch. I'm curious about this kind of thing. Well, someone can't they tell me what the fucking hell's going on? Who the bloody hell's this? This ain't in the script. I'm sorry, mate. Allow me. Hey, Stuart. How's it going, mate? Oh, no, not you, Travis. Listen, leave the girls alone. You can do what you want with me. Just don't touch the girls. You touch the girls? Who is this man, Stuart? I demand to know right now. It's Travis, love. No, the one I told you about from our Not that psychopath. Afraid so, love. Oh, well, I'm not scared of you, mate. You might think you can get your cheap thrills torturing people smaller and weaker than yourself, but it's not going to work on me. Don't See? provoke him, love. Provoke him? I'll bloody well kill him Listen, if he comes near me. Whatever your name is. I don't know what he's been telling you, but I have never laid a finger on this bloke in my life. Don't listen to him, love. He's a killer. He just got out. Listen here, Walter Mitty. If you don't stop telling lies about me, I'm going to get very angry. Sorry, Travis. Just get carried away sometimes. You know what it's like. That's better. Now you're going to start behaving yourself. Sorry to worry about your kid, Travis. Are you still going on? Tony, your brother. On that last support machine and all that. Y you have heard, haven't you? I'm getting very tired of your little story, Stuart. No, it's true. I swear on my mother's grave. He, he were attacked or something, and now he's on some friggin' iron lung with wires coming out of everywhere they can stick him. I'm sorry, Ray. I, I thought you knew. Don't look at me. I don't know what he's on about. Pat, tell him for fuck's sake! It's true. So you can just leave him alone. It's been in paper and everything. Which hospital is he in? I don't know. Come on, Brain, think. He's not in hospital. They sent him home, the rotten bastards. Said they didn't have the beds. Raymond? You want to watch what you're saying, you. You'll be getting us into trouble one day. Me? What have I done? How dare you? How dare you come in here after all these years? No, how dare you, Anne? 
How dare you suppose? Don't flatter yourself. I've not come here to grovel back to you, okay? I made to my brother. Because despite what you might think about me, he's still my brother. <laughs> Hypocrite. I'll be downstairs if you need me, Darren. Right. Fucking typical, innit? The one person our family could have done something with their life, and this has to happen. There's no way in it up, is there? You're right there, mate. There's no way in it up. I just hope he has pleasant dreams, that's all. As if he does, he's better off. Who did it then, Darren? I don't know. Well, I do, but I'm not meant to say out like. I mean, it's no mystery, but you get fucking back to something. Darren, just tell me. Only he was shagging this bird. Which bird? What's her name? Angela. Angela McGee. Yeah, and? Well, he was shagging her, right? Well, no, I mean, he was really going out with her. And she's all right, you know, quite fit. And he were Tony-like. Only it turns out that her brothers are the, are the McGee's off Greenbank. Never heard of them? No. Fucking idiots, man. They hang about with Kaz Bolton and all them maniacs. Darren, get to the point. All right. Tony, like, fucking gets her up the duff, doesn't he? And then she says she wants to get married. And him, like a soft lad, says, yeah. So he did the right thing? Yeah, well, but next news, turns out Tony's only seen some other bird. Posh tart she is. And then he's given her one as well. And, and, and then he's saying he's in love with this older one. And then he calls the marriage off. Oh, shit. Too right. So you can see why there's plenty of folk who'd want to give him a slap. So where do they live, these McGee's? I think you've said enough, Darren. There's been enough trouble in this house already. Yeah, right. Sorry. Come on, Darren. It's time we made some inquiries. I want no more trouble. Do you hear me, Raymond? You'll never change. <coughs> What's that box pack? Mum will kill you if you keep that. Moving out, lads. Yeah, why? Who's asking? Ray's asking. Ray's asking? Ray Travis. It's on his brother. Quick, Pat. Get Dad. No, you stupid fucker, get him! Oh, I'm not frightened of you, Travis. Fucking psycho, me. I mean it. You hit me with a brick, I'll knife you. You knife me, I'll fucking shoot you, yeah? I mean it. I suppose that couch is a lethal weapon in your hands and all. <laughs> eh? Put the couch down. What do you want? Hey! Give him up, the lad! You fucking joke, you bitch! Stay back up, Becky! Fucking there! Angela McGee! Ray Travis. It's on his brother. Give me a talk. What's he doing with her? I don't know. Seems to be talking to her someone. Shall I get the dog's dad? You'll do no such thing, Patrick McGee. Over my dead body, you will. None of you. You just let her be for once. And the child? What became of the child? Dead. He's dead. He... 
that bastard in there. He made me get rid of it. Fucking murderer. Mate, you rotting hell. Hey, come on. It's okay. I'm sorry. Are you sure they weren't responsible for what happened to Tony? No, I'm not sure, but... He seemed okay when he left here. I mean... They roughed him up a bit, but... They were only cuts and grazes. I'm, I'd worse off him myself. So I see. I wanted him to stay. I said... Think of your baby. But he read him and he had to go and see her again. Clean up the mess he'd made, so he said. But I knew what he were really up to. Fucking bitch had cast a spell on him. Do you know where she lives, this woman? I don't know. Up Pleasanton somewhere. You can't miss it. Big fuck off mansion. White. Why did he have to do it, Ray? I mean, is there something wrong with me or something? No, there's no wrong with you. And don't forget what I said. Anything you need, anything. Just say the word, it's sorted. Look at the state of me. Oh, what a fucking life. Stuck in this dump. There's got to be more to life than this, hasn't there? Yeah, I suppose there has. Do you think he loved me, Ray? I can't answer that, love. No. How can he say that he loves me and love her as well? I don't know. There's no way to help. Stupid get up on it, be able to get over it. What are you on about, man? This is proper army issue. Darren, you look like a clown. I knew I shouldn't have brought you. You turned this whole thing into a sodding pantomime. What are you on about, man? You wanted backup, didn't you? SAS wouldn't turn up to a surveillance operation dressed like that. Jesus. Ah! Oh. Hold on a minute. Ah! Oh. What's up oh, now? Your fucking face is on fire. Oh, fucking hell, it's killing. Ah. Fucking engine oil. Oh, kill our gas. I bet he's been cleaning his bike with it again. <sighs> oh, that's better. Have you finished? Yeah, so. Can we proceed now? Come on. Bins, Darren. Hey, it's brilliant, this, isn't it? It's like start skin or something. Yeah, just stay out of sight, will you? Hey, it's a fair old pile, all right. There's loads of midges in here. Hey, help, what's this? What are you up, Ray? I'm getting bent to death. Shut up, I've seen some of it. There's definitely someone in there. What 
the fuck? Whoa! Is this your fucking marbles or something? It's the midges are eating me alive. I have some very serious doubts about you sometimes, Darren. I really do. Fucking do one, Ray. I've been on a psyche ward three months, you know. Well, next time, make sure they've cured you before I let you out. Come on, might as well get a proper look now. Jesus, look at this place. This isn't a bloody library, you know. Personally, I have no time for the effete ramblings of idiots. Burglars, eh? Hey, no, you got it wrong, mate. Oh, please, spare me your denials. I know lying comes second nature to you people, but please, not to my face. I may be a dying man, but I still have all my faculties, I can assure you of that. Now, what to do with you? Look, Mr. Costillo, thief. My name is Mr. Costillo. And yes, I do know how to use this thing, so please don't come any closer. Right, okie dokie, Captain. I'm just trying to explain, that's all. Costello. Giles. Everything all right? What? Oh, not so bad. Well, I'm going to bloody well beat this thing, you know? No, go on. Well, you can tell Porter there'll be no negotiation. They can take it or leave it. No. You tell him I don't give a fig about the staff. I'm trying to run a bloody business here, not a charity. I know. I know they don't understand the market. OK. OK, ciao. Oh, Giles. Yeah, a question. What would you do if you found intruders in your house? No, no, hypothetically. Really? It's very interesting. Sure. Bye. Trouble at Mill. Look, this is all a big misunderstanding, right? I can explain everything. Then please do. You what? Explain, explain everything. Well, me and my mate here, we was, uh out with a dog, rabbiting like, and uh, anyhow, if she sees one, bam, she's off after it. Next news is she's gone to your garden, hasn't she? So, uh, you haven't seen it, have you? Jack Russell. I'd have shot it if I had. And the smoke? The smoke? The smoke, man, in the bushes. I was watching your every move. Well, there was a rabbit hole, and we thought we could hear it down there, so, uh, 
Darren here decides he's going to smoke it out, doesn't he? And uh, will she budge? Will she bugger it? So uh, we came up here trying to get some help, like. Very good. I'm impressed. Oh, don't worry, gentlemen. It was a vulgar piece of limited value. Look, I'm not interested in your antiques, OK? I've just come up here to borrow a shovel and that's it. Feeble at best. Oh, I'll hand you over to the police. Stains on the carpet are a devil to shift. Hello. She's back early. Sit down, you two. Hello, darling. Look what I've bagged today. Come on, girls. Brace of burglars. Not bad, eh? I was going to phone the police, but I wanted you to see what a clever boy I've been. Are you sure, Michael? They don't look like criminals to me. What? Of course they are. I mean, they tried to fob me off with some cock and bull story, but I saw straight through that. We're trying to tell your husband, Mrs Costello, we lost our dog down a rabbit hole in your garden. Laughable, isn't it? They really do insist on sticking to this ridiculous story. Well, uh, actually, I did see what seemed to be a stray dog on the drive, darling. What? Are you sure? Yes, of course I'm sure. I nearly ran it down. What kind of dog? Oh, I don't know. A dog. A, a small dog. It was probably a terrier or something. Jack Russell. Yes, uh, Jack Russell. Now, Michael, for God's sake, please put that gun away and let these men get on their way. Um. Really, I'm most you must understand, he's not himself at present. Please, let me show you to the sworn. door. It's the pills, they make him a bit confused. You do understand, don't you? Should be locked up, let's see now, little twat. I'm sure this doesn't need to go any further, does it? I'll be in touch. I was wondering when you'd show up. Come in then. Make yourself at home. Hasn't changed much in here. Neither have you by all accounts. Still got the old Vesper, I see. I thought you were going to make an overcraft out of that or something. I seem to remember that was your idea, Sunshine. Don't worry, it can stand around for another ten years until you bloody well finish it. Ah, oh, thanks, Ken, but uh. Not much call for craft these days. Oh, I don't know. Might make one hell of a getaway car. Oh, yes, I'm no, not so bad. And you? What are you working on now? Oh, something I should have done years ago. A lot be a minute. Pass us that plug wrench, will you? I bet it's all got to bugger in this. The bloody murder, these old four strokes, they are. Suppose you heard about our Tony? Aye, I did. Shocking news, weren't it? And your mum and all at her age. I've meant to pop round and see how she is getting on and that, but you're never sure what to do in these circumstances, are you? No, you're right, Kim. You've got enough on your plate, mate. Got it. See, look at that. Boiled up to buggery. Right. You see much of your uh, Sally these days? Sally? Well, you know, she comes round here when that prat of a husband lets her. <sighs> Doesn't like her mixing with the Lord Orders, you know. The prat. Oh, my dad, for Pete's sake. It's a good job I can fend for myself, or else I'd be scuppered. There you are, good as new. Now then.
Ja. Da. French fancy. Not mad if I do. Right. Let's see if this bloody thing works. Hmm. Sally's a married woman, Ray, with kids and responsibilities. I think you've left it a bit late if you're thinking of trying to win her back. Win her back? Do us a favour. It was years ago, kid stuff. Well, you never know. Man gets to a certain age and all sorts of crazy ideas go through his head. Yeah, I'll speak for yourself, Ken. Look, it's perfectly simple. I just need to see her about something. No favours, no strings attached. Simple question, that's all. So you'll help us or what? Oh, I don't know. I'll not be thanked whatever I do. Seems to be working all right. This is half of it. Circular lawn, that will cure it. Bugger, oh, it's coming loose. Price of progress, that can. Aye. <laughs> so come on, are you gonna help us out, or what? You know, Ray, I had such high hopes for you. When you and Sally got engaged, I said to myself, thank God, everything's turning out just the way it should. Oh, shut up, you silly old fool. Oh, Ray, I will have me say, even silly old fools are entitled to that occasionally. I mean it. You and Sally were right for one another. Oh, it fair broke my heart when you did what you did. <sighs> Why did you have to go, Ray? Everything went wrong after that. I don't know. I just felt useless, that's all. I mean, she was going places. What did I have to offer? A lifetime of shitty jobs and worried about money. I mean, how long's a girl like Sally gonna put up with that? You just don't get it, do you? That girl loved you. And for a woman, her love is a life. Life? She wouldn't have had one if she stayed with me. Then build one, man. That's what it's all about. Build one with what? Brass tacks? With these. And this. And that as well. I don't know. I'm just glad your father didn't live to see it. Oh, here we go. Karl Marx lives. Karl Marx lives? I'll give you bloody Karl Marx lives in a minute. That block lived and died for what he believed in. He had guts, real guts. Aye, so they say. <sighs> ah. Go and see her then. She goes running in park every morning. Thanks, Ken.
funny, stupid cow. It's one tall. If you ever come near me or my family again, I'll have you shot. That's a promise. Sally, wait. I just want to talk. Stop, Sally. This is killing me. Since when did you ever care about anything but yourself? Sally, please. Look at the state of you. You're pathetic. It's a funny, stupid cow. You could have brought me a fucking leg. Not so high and mighty now, are you? I wouldn't mind. Just ask you a frigging question, that's all. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please be my guest. What, no tricks? Right, well, how long have you seen my brother for? About nine months. So you admit you were seeing him then? I just said so, didn't I? And I suppose it's his colossal brain that you're in love with, was it? No, his colossal cock, actually. Well, that is what you wanted to hear, isn't it? It was like that, was it? Yeah. No, actually, it wasn't. But that's none of your business. And you wouldn't understand even if it was. No, no, I get it. You're like a nice, sensitive, caring guy that can shaft behind your husband's back and then dump when the going gets tough. That's it, isn't it? Actually, I dumped him when I found out he was your brother. And that took nine months, did yeah, it? Yeah, it did. Because it seems he goes by a different name these days. Apparently, he didn't want anyone to know he was related to a lying, thieving lowlife called Ray Travis. His idea of fun is putting people in wheelchairs. Can't think why. Sounds like the perfect chat-up line to me. So you saying you had nothing to do with what happened to him, then? You really take the piss, you do. Pull the other one, Travis. You don't give a shit about your brother. You disappear for years on end, and then you start wringing your hands and acting all outraged when something happens to him. Who are you trying to kid? I cared more for him in one day than if you'd lived to be a hundred. I saw your old man the other day. Oh, so he put you up to this, did he? I don't know why you didn't marry him. You always thought the sun shone out of your ass anyway. Well, he's not the only one by all accounts. Don't fool yourself, mate. It's just an old man's wishful thinking. So is that it, then? Hey. Can I get on now? Yeah, sure. Sally! Will you help me? Sally! You're right, Eddie. It's a stinker of a night. Well, aren't you going to say something to the lad? 
Well, you should be proud of him, Edmund Travis. It's not every father's son that goes to Oxford to study law. Politics? Oh, don't talk so daft, Eddie. Tony's not interested in politics, are you, love? What? Well, it hasn't done you much good, has it, you daft bugger? He's gone all quiet now. I think we've upset him. We don't like sulky chops, do we? Plenty of socks and underpants. That's what I like to see. I'm not molly coddling him. The lad's got to have underpants, hasn't he? Well, if it was up to you, he'd be walking around with his arse hanging out of his breeches. How would he feel then? All these Oxford dons looking down the long noses at him. Oh, dear. I've set him off now. Can you hear him? That's the spirit, Eddie, you tell them. I'll take them all on, he's saying. I'll take the bloody world on. Some stuff for Anne. You know, that big fuck off armchair. Yeah, it was me dad's. Yeah, right, well, I've, I've been shifting that and some other gear, you know, into Tony's room. Fucking hard work on your own. The arms are killing me now. Shifting it? What for? I don't know. Is your mum religious or what? <laughs> He's a pope Catholic, why? What's she up to anyway? Fuck those. But that room up there is like a shrine to St. Tony. I tell you, it's weird. Ray? Any chance of a bacon butter in her? Sometimes. If only I'd done this. 
eyes. If only I'd done that. Yeah. I chose my path, the winding path. Because every time I got my mind set on something, I'd leap ahead of itself and I'd see how it all unravel. And I'd think, I'm not like that happen to me. You said it, Dad. You said, think for yourself. I agree with that, I really do. And you, Mum, you said, unto thine known self be true. That was good advice as well. I tried to follow them both as best I could. But then I'd, I'd see what a bag of shit society is. And how it ends up fucking everything up. And I think, What's the point? Society's the enemy. Fuck society. So what did we have to do? I don't condone it. But I'm prepared to answer for it when I meet my maker. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, just because we don't see eye to eye, doesn't mean they don't understand your suffering. I never could do anything. Anything in the world, I take it away. I take it to me, onto my shoulders. I mean that, Mum. I really do. After all, I'm a lost cause anyway. So what difference is the next to gonna make? I thought I was sleeping, but I heard you, and every word you said, and I swear on what you said, or are you still telling your lies? No, it's not lies, ma'am, honest, I meant it. I'll try, you'll see. Don't try, just do it. I will, ma'am. I'll get a job out around the house, anything you want. Save him. What? You heard. Save this lad here. But, Mama, That's the only thing I want. I can't do that. I'm not a magician, you know. I don't care how you do it. You can sell your soul to the devil for all I care. But if you ever want to be my son again, you'll stop that lad from dying. I still am your son. Let's face it, sex is money and money is power. What say you, Mr. Weintraub? I don't know. Ask my wife. <laughs> I'm sure she'd agree with you. No, 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 you, you misunderstand me. Look, take yourself, for example. A man with your resources, if you wanted to, could have sex on tap 24 hours a day. Ooh. And the woman, even if you didn't realise it, will be trading on the global market. Yes, they have a name for that. Prostitution. No. Yes, technically you're right, it is prostitution. But don't you see? The rule applies to all of us to some extent. From, well, the lowliest worker giving the hours of his life to earn his daily bread, to the marriage contract itself. Giles? Really? <laughs> no, darling, I didn't mean it like that. All I'm saying is, sex and money form part of the same equation. It's a deal. A world's marketplace. Hello? Sally, Sally, it's Ray. What do you want? Sally, I need your help. You're drunk. I'm putting the phone down. No, don't, Sally, don't hang up. Please wait. Don't hang up. I need you to come and see our Tony. Yeah? Use your Sally magic on him. You can do it, girl. I know you can. You'll sit up and beg when he hears your voice. It's ridiculous. I'm putting the phone down. Oh, Sally, Sally, don't. Listen. This is my last chance. They're gonna pull the plug if he doesn't make it through. I'm very sorry about what happened, but I'm not getting involved. Sally, don't. I want you to stop us from me chance. and my family, OK? One word. One word, Sally, what's that? It's not too much to fucking ask, is it? Sally? Sally? 
You fucking bitch! Your father, was it, darling? Drunk again, no doubt. I'll take it in the hallway. Look, I've already shot it, it, bitch! Are you fucking listen up, right? Get your ass round mine now and you say, oh, fucking Tony, right? I swear to Christ, I'll come up there right now and rip up your cosy world for fucking arse paper. How dare you! No, how dare you, bitch! How dare you! I've got a dying man on my hands! Listen, you play it cool and you get the lot when Lord Snooty fucking snuffs it, yeah? You fuck with me now, Sally. Fuck with me now and I will ruin you. Have you got that? Am I talking to me fucking self here? I'm listening. Right. You know the old tree? The old tree where you have that swing, yeah? Yes, but I think it's pointless. I don't give a fuck about that. I'll just be there, right? Be there 12 sharp tomorrow, right? I can't. I've got an appointment. For Christ, sake. Sally, I do not give a fuck about your hairdressing appointments, girl! Just be there, yeah? Right. You'll be there, then? Yes. Right. Fuck! What the hell do you want? What is that fucking wife of yours? How dare you? I'm gonna call the police. Get out! Get out! Get off my property! I'm warning you! I'm warning you! I'll have you arrested! Quite so tough without the gun, are you? You bastard! I've got leukemia! Tough. Start again. Where's your wife? Do you think I'd tell a thug like you? Well, it's very touchy, but I don't think you feel quite the same way that you should be up to. Who are you? Ask your wife. She's the one who's been screwing my brother. A fairy tale. Hey, I wish it were. Then you wouldn't be on your knees with a gun pointing at your head. I wouldn't be thinking about using it, and my brother wouldn't be a complete cabbage plugged into a fucking life support machine. You mean that oily little wine waiter from the golf club? That's your brother? Met with an accident, didn't he? You tell me. Oh, yes, I'm sure of it. Terrible shame it was. They can be treacherous at night, these dark lanes, you know. Are you saying you had something to do with it? I'm not saying anything. Only some people should learn to keep their hands off other people's property. For me. What, 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 what are you doing? That, that wasn't a confession. You'd never stand up in court. You're not in court. But but, but it was her. She did it. Th th that night she brought the jeep back. Damn it. She, she, she said she'd been in an accident. But, but don't you see? It must have been him. He must have threatened to expose her. Is there nothing you wouldn't do to save your skin? If you don't believe me, ask her. Ask the scheming bitch and watch her squirm. Where is she? Anyone know the truth? Where is she? <laughs> At her father's. But please, what? don't harm the children. They're all I've got. OK, now close your eyes. <laughs> please. Think of the children. We've all got family. <laughs> don't worry, old boy. You should have all good piece of limited value. Ah! <laughs> 
Take care, love. Don't worry, kids will be fine with me. Thanks, Dad. See ya. Sally, everything is all right, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Driving. Watch the road. God, you're really in for it this time, Travis. They're gonna lock you up and throw away the bloody key. I don't think so. This is my last ride. Straight on. This isn't the way to your mother's. Yeah, I'm gonna worry about that. Steady, girl. We don't want any accidents now, do we? That's my call's gone. <laughs> Correct. Get the lady a cigar. What's that on your hands? What have you done and what's happened to Michael? He's dead. Dead? What are you talking about? I shot the bastard. Why would you want to do that? Because I felt like it. Turn down here. Well, this is romantic. Do you recognise this place, then? Yeah, of course I do. We used to come here. Right. And what now, then? Get out. Get lost, it's freezing. I said get out, it's time for you to pay for what you've done. And I said fuck you! Who the hell do you think you are, eh? Do you think I'm gonna fall to my knees and beg for forgiveness while you point your big thing in my face? Do me a favour. I thought you had more about you than that. Yeah, and I thought you had more about you than to go sell yourself to the ice bidder. Oh, right, now we're getting to it. Well, it would never have come to that if you hadn't wet your pants and run off. Oh, my God, I think I feel something for someone else. And I might get my precious little feelings hurt. That's you, isn't it, Raymond? A fucking coward! No. Come off it. What you moaning about? You got over it, didn't you? Got over it? What's that meant to me? I didn't go mad or top myself. Oh, sure, I got over it, but at what cost? Well, you're still alive, aren't you? I'm not talking about me, you dummy. There was a price to pay for what you did. I was pregnant. You what? You what? Yeah, you heard. I was pregnant, a little boy, and I lost him. What's up? You stuck for words. And he was mine? No, the milkman's. Of course he was yours. I had no idea. Yeah, well. Don't let it bother you. Like you say, it's all in the past. I haven't really killed your husband, you know. I know. Not come. Because I know you, Raymond. You said that you ran our kid down. What? Bastard, you don't believe him, do you? No, not really. Good. Now perhaps we can finally go to your mother's. Sally? What? You didn't really do it, did you? No, I bloody well didn't. I don't 
don't think I can go through with this. Come on, then that'll be frightened of. What do I do, Ray? I don't know what to say to him. Just say whatever feels natural. If you can hear me, but I just want to say how sorry I am to see you in this state. And guilty as well. Perhaps if we'd never met, none of this would have ever happened. Come on, Ray, this is never gonna work. Of course it will. You're doing fine, keep going. I don't know what else to say to me. Just tell him how you feel. Okay. Listen, Tony. You know how much we all care about you. Me. Ray and your mum. And we just want to say that if you can hear us, we dearly want you to come back to us. Come back, Tony, we miss you. He can't hear us, Ray. You've got to accept it. No, his eyes just twitched. What? Just them and you're talking. I know you mean well, Ray, but you're just clutching at straws. You're going to have to let him go. I can't do that. And I can't work miracles. Tell him you love him. What? Tell him no, something. No, I won't. Besides, it wouldn't do any good. Who says? I do, because it's not true. Just tell him anyway, it's only words after all. Not to me, it isn't. I've only ever said it once, and I'm not going to start lying about it now. That's right, Ray. Don't worry, I'm not saying I still feel the same. But it hurts remembering how it was. And it hurts seeing what life's done to you. And it hurts thinking about all those wasted years. And now this. One minute I'm being pulled one way, and next minute the other. And deep down, it really hurts. <laughs> Things could have been so different, couldn't they? What's she doing here? This is Sally, Mum. I know who it is. I asked, what is she doing here? Come to regard your handiwork, have you? Don't talk to her like that, Mum. Is there any other way to talk to a scrubber? No, Mum, come on. She's only here to help. Blame me if you want to. I asked her to come. Oh. I might have known you had a hand in this. Wherever there's something disgusting, you're never very far away, are you? Now, come on, Mum. You're getting hysterical. Get your hands off me. You never change, do you? Eh? Even as a child, there was something about you that turned my stomach. You don't mean that. Don't I? Come on, Ray. We're wasting our breath here. I just thought perhaps maybe we could have done something to help. <laughs> I'd rather see him die than be messed about by you two. I don't believe you just said that. You really are a sick old woman. How dare you? You wouldn't talk to me like that if your father was still alive. You wouldn't have the nerve! What? My father the hero? The man so brave he didn't have the guts to live? Don't you dare soil his memory! Why not? That's all he left us, wasn't it? Memories. You're always banging on about the truth. Why don't you tell everyone what really happened to him? Come on, Anne. Give us your precious truth. What's up? You frighten Tony, you'll find out why he's not got a dad. Tell him. Tell everyone how you kicked him out when you found out he was having an affair. Come on. And now no matter how much he begged and pleaded with you to forgive him, you never did let him come on. That's how far your Christian charity stretch, isn't it? He sinned. Big deal. He committed adultery. Have you ever asked yourself why? Ray, right, please, you've said enough. No, 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 there's more. I don't want to miss the best bit. See, two years later, after he's nearly damn it drank himself to death, he throws himself from the school bus, doesn't he? Didn't have to give all the young mums some to talk about that day, I can tell you. Mind you, kids got a day off school, so it wasn't all bad. But hey, just another drunken bum, so it doesn't really matter, does it? I hate you. There, you've said it now. Does it feel better getting off your chest? Get out! Ray? Ray, 
wait. What are you doing, Ray? What does it look like? So that's it, is it? You turn up after all these years and put everyone through hell and just ride off when you've had enough? Something like that. To what, Ray? You've got nothing waiting for you out there. I've got nothing here either. You sure about that? No, he's kidding himself. Look after yourself, Ray. I'll try.
chose my path, the winding path. Hello? Don't listen to him, love. He's a killer! <laughs> Sorry to worry about your kid, Travis. I just hope he has pleasant dreams, that's all. As if he does, he's better off. Who did it then, Darren? I want no more trouble. Do you hear me, Raymond? I never could do anything. Anything in the world. <laughs> Take it away. Take it to me up to my shoulders. After all, I'm a lost cause anyway. I'll be in touch. See you help. Is it what? Oh, I don't know. So what difference is little extra gonna make? You just don't get it, do you? Sally? So what have we out to do? Sally! I don't condone it, but I'm prepared to answer for it when I think I make it. There. Buy your movie today, azura.com.